Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Hamburgers are truly an American classic that have long been a favorite at restaurants and cookouts alike. But in America, basic burgers aren't enough to satisfy some of the more extreme burger lovers who demand things like 100 patties and exotic toppings. So let's take a bite out of 10 burgers only America could invent, part two. Flipping burgers is literally the only thing I'm good at. Time to make the donut burgers. Have you guys seriously never heard of donuts? At some point, it wasn't enough anymore to be able to eat hamburgers or donuts, so someone combined the two into one food, and the donut burger was born. There is really no one burger joint or donut shop that is particularly associated with this sweet and salty creation, but many have experimented with it. The basic version seems to be a hamburger patty between a pair of glazed donuts. You, I recommend the donut. But there are certainly many other possible combinations. Chocolate donuts are a popular variation on this theme, but even for extreme burger lovers, this might be a little too much. Some variations of the burger feature breakfast foods such as fried eggs and bacon. Like many of the burgers on this list, the donut burger seems intended as fairground food, something to try on a lark, but not something you would eat consistently, because it's kind of crazy to put a hamburger patty on glazed donuts. The last Last time I had a donut was, uh, long ago. Gobble gobble, the Thanksgiving burger. Hey! Who's gonna get the Thanksgiving dump trophy this year? Thanksgiving is a great American holiday, so it makes sense there would be a Thanksgiving-themed hamburger. Burger purists may insist that even a Thanksgiving burger be made from beef. But rest assured, you can order one with ground turkey as well. Regardless of the kind of meat used in the patty, most Thanksgiving burgers offer a range of traditional toppings such as stuffing, gravy, and cranberry sauce. Some of these festive burgers offer additional ingredients such as sage mayonnaise and even a slice or two of turkey to complete this meal on a bun. Five inches deep in some bun, son! However, it's not clear if you can get a Thanksgiving burger with mashed potatoes or green bean casserole on top. There doesn't seem to be much specific attention on the choice of bun, but hot and buttered dinner rolls would be a good choice for Thanksgiving sliders. A burger place called Slater's will help you get into the Thanksgiving spirit with sweet potato fries served with a tasty pumpkin sauce. These sweet fries might be a little too much for some burgers burger lovers, but don't fret because standard french fries would be a wonderful side for any Thanksgiving burger. After all, the sweet potato fries sound good, but they still won't replace a delicious slice of pumpkin pie with a dollop of whipped cream. I did, however, save room for your special pumpkin pie. Say cheese. Say cheese. Macaroni and cheese is a widely popular dish in America, so the only question is, why didn't someone pile it on top of a hamburger sooner? Whatever the reason, a lot of hamburger places are on board now, so there are a number of mac and cheese burgers to try. There are two classes of mac and cheese hamburgers. One features a traditional hamburger with a helping of gooey, cheesy pasta. Along with the burger and pasta, you might also see slices of melted cheese, as well as crispy bacon for a total taste meltdown. Well, I don't have money, I spent it all on bacon! There are a lot of recipes for mac and cheese, including things like tomatoes, peppers, and breadcrumbs, so you could potentially see all of these things as part of a burger. The other version of the mac and cheese burger is just as decadent and owes something to the ramen burger that features noodles pressed into the shape of a bun. If that appeals to you, you will probably like a hamburger with mac and cheese for a bun. Most burger lovers will likely opt for the pasta dish as a topping. Cheese is very very popular with burger lovers, of course, so this one seems like a home run. Remember, there's a reason there's something called a cheeseburger. Speaking of cheeseburgers, you can get one of those with mac and cheese, too. The mac and cheese burger takes burger fans' love of cheese to the next level to create a cheesy sensation. I, I, I could just take cheese and put it on the thing he's doing. Use your noodles. I was dreaming about, uh... Noodles? Ramen noodles are a staple of college students, but usually aren't thought of as a staple in hamburger restaurants. However, this might be changing after a self-proclaimed ramen connoisseur named Keizo Shamimoto decided to gift us with a hamburger that uses compressed ramen noodles instead of a traditional bun. This burger is a close cousin of the Italian-inspired spaghetti burger. This ramen burger suffers from the same potential weaknesses as the spaghetti burger, compressed noodles. Noodles? 
Hamburgers and bread buns go so well together that it's hard to think about one without the other. A good bun perfectly complements a big, juicy hamburger, but can the same be said for a pile of pressed noodles? Probably not. Anytime a hamburger's identity is more about the bun than the burger, it has likely wandered off in the wrong direction. My son finally having the noodle dream. The Centurion. It's not supposed to be easy to eat. In and Out hamburger restaurants are known for their simple menu of hamburgers and cheeseburgers. However, the popular California fast food chain has a well known secret menu that offers things like animal style burgers and Neapolitan milkshakes that include strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate flavors. A variation of the so called secret menu is that customers can order burgers with more patties. A 4x4 four four offers four beef patties, and this is usually enough for even big burger appetites. But in case this isn't enough, they can order additional patties. How many patties, you ask? People have ordered all different numbers of patties, and a few even asked for and got 100 patty burgers that also included 100 slices of cheese. Cheese. Regardless of how hungry you think you are, this is pretty gluttonous and wasteful. In our Instagram era, this smacks of a photo op stunt meant more to give people notoriety on social media than to satisfy an actual hamburger craving. Even so, the In-N-Out 100 by 100 is an impressive burger by any standard. Unfortunately for extreme burger lovers, this is one burger they will no longer be able to indulge in because In-N-Out has stopped honoring this request. But don't despair because the 4x4 four four burger is plenty of beef and cheese and will satisfy all but the biggest appetites. To design any burger you want? Your only limit is your imagination. The Vermonster. Hungry! Pour food on my pile! This burger is called the Vermonster, and it is not to be confused with Ben and Jerry's giant sundae of the same name. Although ice cream and burgers is probably something we should think about. Anyway, this Vermonster combines the classic burger with the sweet goodness of New England apple pies. Nothing says New England like crisp autumn air and warm apple pie, so it makes good sense to combine Combine them with burgers into one unique taste experience. There are several variations of the Vermonster, but the basic idea is to add the flavors of apple pie to hamburgers. So obviously there will be apples. 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 Some used sliced Granny Smith apples, although many pie makers prefer other varieties such as Macintosh apples. Cinnamon, brown sugar, and maple syrup are included. Some recipes use a maple syrup mayonnaise. Classic burger ingredients such as red onion and bacon are included to counter the sweet flavors. New Englanders will tell you apple pie isn't complete without a little slice of cheddar cheese. This hamburger is a classic mashup of sweet and salty flavors that will appeal to many adventurous burger lovers who also suffer from a sweet tooth. Sweet tooth. What elk would you expect? I expect you to die. Fuddruckers restaurants may or may not have the greatest hamburgers in the world as it claims, but the popular burger chain does offer an elk burger it is very proud of. Like its other burgers, the elk burger is made from fresh ground meat that's never frozen and cooked to order. This popular burger chain also offers a buffalo patty, and both are usually described as tasting like more gamey versions of the traditional beef burger. The elk burger is the leanest choice at Fuddruckers, but the buffalo option is also leaner than its beef counterpart. The elk meat option at Fuddruckers is served on a wheat bun with lettuce, tomato, grilled onion, and Swiss cheese. It is available as a one-third pound burger, as well as a generous half-pound version big enough for even the heartiest appetites. As far as toppings go, with an elk burger, you really can't go wrong with classic choices like red onion, tomato, and lettuce. First, you throw in the whole head of lettuce. Like any burger, they would likely be even better with the addition of chili, bacon, or cheese. Of course, you could add all three of these to create some sort of deluxe elk burger. So if you'd like to try something a little more exotic and a bit healthier than the average hamburger, you might want to taste an elk burger. It's not supposed to taste good. It's supposed to look crazy. Hot dog burger. Do you want one of the hot dogs? Talk about two great tastes that go great together. Hot dogs and hamburgers are two American grilling 
Halloween favorites, perfect for any summer cookout. So a hot dog hamburger is the next logical step. This blockbuster pairing has the dramatic feel of a superhero team-up. As you might expect, there are a number of variations to the hot dog hamburger. The most common version consists of a traditional hamburger and fixings, with the addition of a sliced-up hot dog. There are much more elaborate concoctions that involve fashioning a combination hamburger hot dog roll to accommodate both pieces of meat. That's not a burger, that's just a meat sandwich. One version could arguably be called a hamburger hot dog, a hot dog with a hamburger added to it. This one also has plenty of cheese and chili, which are both popular hamburger and hot dog toppings. Most condiments, including mustard, ketchup, and relish, are all equally fine additions to hamburgers and hot dogs, which is only further evidence that the two foods were always meant to be together. Whether you want a hot dog hamburger or a hamburger hot dog, you can find either one of these creations to satisfy your meaty craving, and they look like they are equally delicious. Have a chili dog. The Boss Burger. And you're my new boss. Chili's restaurants offer a hamburger that will change the way you look at hamburgers. The Boss Burger is so much more than just a giant patty or even several patties. It is a celebration of everything meat. Americans love their meats, so in addition to the standard beef patty, the Boss Burger offers layers of smoked brisket, rib meat, jalapeno cheddar smoked sausage, and bacon. This is a lot of meat and promises to be a unique taste experience. Can I get you and your friends anything else? What about a burger? Don't hold back. Vegetable lovers don't despair, because this giant burger also offers lettuce, tomato, and is topped off with both barbecue sauce and ranch dressing to add just the right amount of tanginess. If this all sounds like a little too much even for most hamburger lovers, you are probably right, but this doesn't stop a lot of people from giving this Chili's concoction a try. The Boss Burger appears to be another one of those burgers that is stacked so high with meat and topping that it can't actually be eaten as made. It looks as though you would have to consume this burger in several portions, perhaps even with a knife and fork. But I suppose this is part of the challenge. Next time you need a serious meat fix, you might want to give Chili's Boss Burger a try. Did you get anything? No. Boss. Hamburgers at the end of the world. Last day on Earth, last chance to do this. Hopefully, hamburger lovers would only choose to eat a hamburger which comes from a can because they are hiding down in a bunker waiting out the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> But to each their own, I suppose. Maybe if you were going on a long hike or camping trip and you knew you wouldn't be able to get a real hamburger for a while, you could justify this, but it would still be doubtful. However, if you are for some reason still committed to trying one of these creations, several brands are available that offer some variation. Most of these hamburgers in a can offer a basic beef patty with a bun, and some even include a sesame seed bun, so that's something. However, some recipes offer a little bit more in terms of flavor and include pork mixed with beef and some even offer bacon. But instead of sweetening the deal, this should make one wonder what the consistency of canned bacon would be like, and not in a good way. Well, that's not good. You can always find more great Babble Top videos right here. Just tap on that screen. And if you haven't joined our notification squad yet, what are you waiting for? Show us some love and slam that subscribe button and click that bell.